Texas folks, we have some good news. The grass has grown. Let me just show you in the map quickly. So we have grass we can cut. Our own grass field is not ready yet, but we have quite a lot of grass around the farm that we can get cut. And I'm gonna make it into hay mostly. I might stick some in some of the silos that we have that will turn it into silage fairly quickly because they then move to making TMR almost straight away. So the first job, well, the second job for today is to cut as much grass as we can. The first job for today is to get the Titan running on course play liming field 12 because we then need to think about planting field 12 and field 6 once we've got the grass cut while it's drying um, so we are on field work mode we'll go to course generation something that I've done is defined each side of the field as my own user defined fields and um, basically I um, let me jump back out to the map or to the to the game. What I did is I basically put a strip of grass down the middle here and then used that to define two fields using calculate current field edge in course plate. I did that off camera because it was just a bit of faffing and nobody needed to see that. I guess the other thing is off camera I finished ploughing field 12 and I also went and brought another load of bales and we fed and watered the cows this morning. So all that said let's get into the course generation so field 51 should be this what i'm calling the right hand side but it's pretty much always the left hand side when i look at it because i come at it from the farm now rather than over here but you know such is life um i think we'll do two headland passes just to be safe we'll do smooth we'll do a 15 percent overlap because i seem to like that at the moment uh, and we'll hit course generation that looks okay um, we have course play set up over here, not course play, auto drive set up over here to go and fill up with lime. We'll put auto drive on to do filling and loading. We already have lime set, so if I take the handbrake or parking brake off, depending on where you're from, and hit drive course, we should be good. We're on automatic application. So we'll just leave that to go. And my screen seems to have gone very weird. There we go. Um, my screen still seems to be weird and it's weird on the video as well. So um, I'm just gonna stop recording for a second and sort this out. Well, that turned into a massive disaster and pain in the something. Um, it seems like the Titan has, let's say, broken down. And so we're not going to be doing lime today because I can't be asked to try and work out what's wrong with it. Now, whenever I try and drive it, I get some weird error messages in my log file and it seems like I stay still and the vehicle moves. And yeah, I can't be asked to deal with that today. So on to the more positive stuff of we're gonna cut some grass and make some hay. And I think once we've cut the grass and it's drying for hay, then maybe we'll worry about lime. I may just rent something else to spread the lime. But the problem there is we probably need the magnum to do it. And I need the magnum to cut grass. It's the only tractor we've got that can run the mowers. I've tried, I had installed a bunch of new mods between episodes. I deleted them all to see if that was the problem. It doesn't seem to be. I've been doing some stuff with auto drive and whether that's the problem, I don't know. I'm hoping it doesn't affect anything else. I have not done a huge amount of testing because I was kind of excited to get on and cut some grass, which is kind of sad because I hate cutting grass in real life, but hey, So the plan is to not lime field 12 and just cut as much grass as we can. Now, I know this is not a particularly American setup. Um, I don't know if I have any of them installed still. Um, what brand is it? 
So recently released was the um, Rotzel Mash Wind Rower, which I've still got installed. Um, I know it's not a very American brand, but all the John Deere ones are green, and this is not a green farm. So I was thinking about buying this, and then I spotted on Argsy's video the McDon with the Honeybee header, and I thought, that's more American. Um, so I installed that, and things have gone wrong since I installed it, so I've deleted it just in case it was that. So I want to replace the mowers that we have with something like this in the near future. The problem is it costs a fair bit of cash, and we don't have much cash. The other thing that I was going to say um is if you watch a lot of my other videos you know i love contracts they're a great way of progressing the game and earning some money um and there are some big contracts on this map there are some really big contracts on this map i'm really tempted to do a big potato planting contract which is field 42 which is a big round field which kind of sucks um what i will probably do once we've got a few things sorted is run some of these big contracts that aren't potatoes i'll stick the 1990 on the uh air cedar and let that guy run but what i'm really tempted to do off camera is run this guy um i don't know why it just seems like a great challenge um, i'll probably lease a bunch of stuff to do it i thought i had more potato contracts in here um it appears i don't I thought I had three. Maybe they've disappeared. Um, yeah, I'm really tempted by this. Um, if I do it, I'll probably do it as kind of a bonus video time lapse um, to the side of the main series if you don't want to watch me plant potatoes. Um, I can understand that. I'm a bit strange. I kind of enjoy doing potatoes. Um, So we have it on widespreading, which is what we want for it to dry to hay. Um, the weather today is really good through till tomorrow. Well, we're actually expecting rain in Texas, which is kind of weird. Um, but we've got solid drying all the way through until at least tomorrow lunchtime to get this stuff dry, windrowed and baled. So I think there's not much more to do than... Uh, actually get mowing some grass and, and turn the parking brake off I have the front mower on so my plan is kind of just to drive around as much of the farm as we can cutting as much grass as we can which I've probably said about 400 times now but if you've watched the last three episodes you know I've been panicking about not having enough feed for the cow and this is going to solve us needing to spend nineteen thousand dollars every two days that we've got the cows just to feed them hay and that's just the cows we have now i want to get a lot more cows and we can't do that until we've got some feed sorted so we're going to jump soon into some sort of time lapse montage which i'm working on doing still i'm not great at doing the whole montage thing yet um, I'm not going to mow through the middle of the silage pitch. That would be a stretching it a bit. But yeah, we're going to jump into some sort of time-lapse montage thing in a moment of me just running around the farm, cutting all the grass that I can. And at that point, because mowing virtual grass is enjoyable, mowing real grass is not, I might have uh, summoned the enthusiasm, shall we say, to tackle our issue with Titan. Um, or I might have stuck store deliveries back on and uh, just leased something to uh, spread some lime while this grass dries into hay. So I have had one comment question as to whether this map, my edit of this map is available for release and no. Um, I don't think it's the right thing to do to edit maps and then release them. Uh, if you want to add anhydrous, go check out Kederik's, Kederk, I don't know how you say his name, tutorial on how to add anhydrous to every map. It's great. It's really easy to follow. Don't be like me. Don't make a typo. Um, 
the other bit was about the paintable textures that I fixed. That's a very simple edit in the um, in one of the map XML files, and I'll try and do. And it, if I if I if I do a video, it's probably out before this because I'm recording this a week and a half in advance. Um, I'm gonna. I may have released a video on how to fix that. It's very simple. It's uh, changing a couple of numbers in one of the XML, or I think it's an XML file. Um, yeah, and also, if, if not, uh, jump on my Discord and remind me, and I will post a picture of what you need to change. It's also on Mighty Mike's Discord, because someone was asking on there, because we've both been through fixing this, and uh, yeah, the information's on there as well. It's pretty simple. So the other thing before we jump into the montage, I'm rambling a bit again today, um, is that the investors have been in touch. Um, they've had a little bit of a, uh, a Greta PR issue. They uh, they seem to have built some oil wells around here recently, and uh, those environmental types aren't happy. Um, one of the neighbouring farmers has invested with them in some oil wells and he's making a bit of money out of that. But the investors have asked us if we can do something to kind of offset that and appease the environmental folks. Um, so we're looking at a couple of options. Obviously, being a carry cattle or dairy farm, I keep hitting the change view button. Sorry about that, folks. Being a cattle farm, and a dairy, we're producing a heck of a lot of manure and slurry. Slurry at the moment because we don't have anything to uh, change it to manure. Um, so we're looking at getting a BGA installed. There is a BGA available in town, but they want a lot of money to let us use their facility. I think it's something like $600,000, which is more than we have in total. Um, so we're looking at building a BGA and over that way somewhere just about over there um, by the so by the slurry pits um, that will obviously really help us because it brings some income in it helps the investors because they're looking like they're doing their bit for the environment we're generating some uh, environmentally friendly energy the other thing we're looking at is solar and we're probably going to very soon be installing some solar panels on the farm Again, the uh, the money we put back into the power grid is great for us. You know, we uh, we make a bit of an income off them, and it looks good for the investors. So, yeah, that's two changes that are going to happen on the farm. Probably after we've done this uh, haymaking and got it all bailed up, is we will be installing a VGA, and that's going to be on that grassy patch just in front of us over there. Um, and then looking at installing some solar panels. Anyway, I think that's more than enough rambling from me. Let's jump in to, I think we'll do a time lapse of this, of me uh, getting all of this mowed up. And I will be back shortly. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go So 
So, as um, I've been pondering while mowing this rather large yard that we seem to have, the first thing that came to mind is we need to plough this up and plant real grass. Yeah. Uh, not this year, because we need it to grow, but once we've got third cut off of here, this is being ploughed and replanted with grass we can fertilise. This is a huge area. Why am I not farming it properly? The same with the bit over by field 12 that we cut i think we could plow that and uh plant some grass in there if we need to the other thing we could do is just extend field 12. um i may actually look at getting rid of the pivot and uh plowing that field much bigger it's quite a big plot of land i think it's something like uh It's in hectares, which yeah, I I not really an expert on hectares or acres, but it's 18 hectares. It's a big field uh, or a big land area that we could plough to turn into a bigger field. Particularly if we got rid of the pivot. Um, be interested to know what people think of that because it's probably not something I'll be doing this season or this year in game. Uh, the other thing that I've decided is I'm going to plant field 6 with corn once we've done this and while the hay is drying field 6 is big enough that it should provide us with enough corn for silage for the year. It's also already been limed so we don't have to worry about the fact that the titan is broken. And lastly the other thing that I'm pon I've been pondering what to do about the titan um, it has some issues, as I'm sure you will have seen as we've used it. It still has texture issues. Um, so I may see if we can chat to the dealer. And trade that guy out. And just get a total lime spreader. We can stick it behind the magnum. It'll do the job. The downside of that is I use the breedle toad lime spreaders quite a lot, but we're going to need something big like that. Um, I may have a browse on some of the mod sites to see if there's something else to use. I think I've seen a couple of dump trucks that can spread lime. That might be cool. And if we can use it as a truck as well, that might be useful on the farm anyway. So yeah, we're going to finish up cutting the grass. So we've got maybe one more pass. And then we're going to take the mowers off the Maxim. It's not a Maxim. I'm not an Oak Hill. It's a Magnum. Uh, take the mowers off the Magnum. And we don't need to tread the grass because it's dry already. So we've just got to wait for the sun to dry it. We're going to stick the early rice planter on the back of the Magnum. And get the corn in the ground. At least that way all of our feed crops are in the ground and growing as early as they can be and then we'll decide what we're going to do with field 12 we definitely need to lime it before we do before we plant it I'm still I'm still not sure about going cotton this year seems like a big call in the first year we're going to have to rent some expensive kit and let's switch those guys off fold the front up and lift it up and lift the back up and fold that up. I don't think we have any. That's, that area is not worth cutting. Not sure if George has brought the front back over from the shop yet. Not sure if it's back over at the yard or not. No, we're not going to cut that. I'm being silly now. There is a strip out the front of the farm that we should maybe just tidy up. Yeah. We don't want the farm to look untidy with uncut grass, would we? That wouldn't be, you know, that wouldn't set the right image for the farm and the, uh, for the money the investors have spent with us. Is that convincing? It's going to be like two swaths, maybe. If that.
and it's not actually cutting so hey that's that question answered isn't it that would have been another one for the cutting room floor so the cows are looking good actually something I haven't told you shown you um, yes they need more food um, but I think we have our first cows that are in calf um, and for all the people that think in seasons you need to go and buy a bull for cows to uh, get in calf and produce milk you don't the AI gum guy comes along with his straws of semen and he does the job Like we are progressing towards being a dairy that produces milk and that, that's that's an area we can, we can't cut it but and I'm being kind of silly now with how desperate I am to mow grass let's put the mowers away and uh, as I said we don't need to tear the grass because it's already at the dry state and we're not playing with maize plus They need a wash, but me. I want to go plant corn. It's the light button. Crash count plus one. Yay! There's one for a YouTube short if I can be bothered to edit it. So, yeah. These silos we can dump grass in and they will ferment straight into silage fairly quickly, which we may end up doing with some of the grass. Or some of the grass from when we cut the actual grass field that we've got planted because I'm not sure yet how much we'll get off of the random bits of farm we've made which cuts straight through the silage pit it's not being used yet the other good thing about going with field six for corn is I don't even have to try and get into the Titan to move it what I can't remember is does this fertilize maybe yeah, it looks like it does. Okay. So we need seed and we need fertilizer. I'm guessing maybe we need a different configuration to do fertilizer as well. Because that looks like we've filled both the tanks up. There's a good chance I think I'll just kind of delete the Titan. I know, I'm a bit twitchy about getting back in it with the amount of time that I wasted when it went wrong at the start of the video.
What do we have? A hundred bushels of seed in here. No idea how much that is. I just hope it's enough to plant the whole field because it's a pretty big field, I think. Certainly in terms of the field sizes that I'm used to. So the advantage of I have been between filming the la over the last couple of videos going backwards and forwards and which field I wanted to plant with corn versus which one I would plant with cotton um, and the idea of forage harvesting field 12 was was you know, it was causing me some issues as to how I might run that so this is going to be a much easier field to get the forage harvester into We are planting corn. Let's get the GPS set as well. There we go. So if you're curious and you use the vehicle control add-on to to auto set the width is left control, left alt and W. I really like the vehicle control add-on just for the GPS that they have. I find it much more intuitive to use than what's this gps mod which i used to use all the time and it has more features but for just running basic gps the uh, the vca one is really good um i don't like all of the gearbox stuff that's in vca and i don't use it i switch it all off um the differentials are sometimes useful although when i was running Wopster's version of GPS. I was running the No This one's done it too. Oh it's caught up. No. Oh. Okay, um And the wheels have gone weird. I guess that's the uh I'm just gonna jump out. I guess that's real dirt being strange. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. Um, at this point, I am going to take a break from recording and try and work out what's happening. And uh, I will be back when I've worked out what the hell is going on, I guess. Oh, I'm back fairly quickly, actually. Uh, I went into my mods folder and just deleted everything that I'd installed since the last time I was recording. And that seems to have sorted it. Why have I got two that are labelled the same? Have I done that again? Yeah. Let's turn off that. So I found that the Titan works now as well. And I think... Titan works, but it doesn't want to... Oh, it's because I've got that on. Uh, there we go. That's a VCA thing that I was... You know, I was literally just talking about VCA, wasn't I? Um, yeah, so I had installed one of the white tractors off of the mod hub, um, which I was going to use for the potato contract that I was talking about earlier. And... Um, I don't know if any of you watch Farm Sim Guy. I do. He kind of what turned me on to this map, actually. And I remember on his Bulls Gap Survival series, I think he had a problem with one of the white tractors doing exactly the same thing. Um, so we are going to try again with kicking off the uh, the lime spreading. I'm just going to save this course. It's F12 right, which is not right. Time. It'd be really nice if we don't have to get rid of the Titan as well. And let's hit drive course. Uh, excuse the messy log. Yes, the errors that were coming up have gone. So I think that was our problem. 
Awesome. Happy man again. Happy man again. Alright. The Magnum works as well. I just did a quick check of that, which is why we have moved along slightly. So we'll stick the GPS back on and we'll get back to planting corn. Oh, such a relief. Uh, weirdly, that's a mod off of Mod Hub. You would think that mods off of Mod Hub are generally safe. Um, it was the white workhorse, I think. So I might try the field boss. Basically, I was looking for a cheap American tractor that I could rent cheaply because I basically the plan for that potato contract that I was talking about is to run three potato planters with course play um, working in kind of tandem parallel whatever because um, I think it'll look quite cool it'll be fun to try and get it to work and it's going to earn us a hundred and thirty odd thousand dollars and you know, we've got a BGA and solar panels to buy damn environmentalists uh, hate not all of us can drill for oil, I guess. But you know, they, they've lent me fifteen million dollars to build a farm, so you know if they need a little bit of help with PR, then we'll do what we need to do. <sighs> so relieved that I've sorted that. So I'm still going to stick with planting field six with corn. I think it's a good size field to plant with corn. Um. So I watch Argsian Farms and Guys West Texas series and this field is bigger than the field that they planted corn in so I should get something close to one and three quarter million litres of um, maize silage or silage off of here. It's not maize plus so we don't get maize silage um, which is going to be great for keeping the cows fed. I think the entire focus of this first year is just going to be keeping the cows fed and growing the herd. So I, I'm not happy with only 300 cows. Yeah. Pay attention when you're driving, boy. Um, yeah, I'm not happy with only 300 cows. I uh, Probably once we've got these two fields planted and the hay rowed up, even be maybe before we get the hay, maybe I, I should probably wait and see how much hay we get. Um, once we've got that done... I am tempted to go and get a few more loads of cows and uh, start filling up one of the other pens. The earlier we get the herd up to a big size, the quicker we'll be producing lots of milk, which means we'll be making lots of money, which means we can pay back all the money we owe. Um, I think actually realistically paying back $15 million is going to be pretty tricky given that um, a, a huge chunk of that money is in the farm. That's five, six, seven and a half. There's probably you know eight or nine million dollars in land, uh, and we're going we're going to need to get bigger as well. And it may be that um, we have to say to the investors, you know, we uh, we're gonna have to leverage the equity that we've got in the land and. If you want your $50 million back, we're going to have to sell you the land. Um, that depends on how long we can keep farming this place. Obviously, if we can farm for long enough, we can earn enough money to uh, clear that debt and uh, own the farm outright ourselves, which would be awesome. But I'm a realist, and equally, we're probably going to need more land. If we're going to push up past a thousand head of cattle, we're going to need more land. This is, this farm is, all fields is probably not going to feed that many cattle. I don't know if there are baling contracts on this map because obviously we've got the kit to cut grass. We could go out and do other people's silage baling for them and you obviously get a nice little bit of an excess off that generally. Um we're not going to be able to get silage from anything else from contracts we can't go and, and uh, whole crop someone's cornfield for them they probably wouldn't be very happy with that um, what we could do if we're pushed for straw is uh, take some harvesting contracts and get the straw off the fields uh, different people have different views on using the uh, the straw from missions mod 
the way I've done it in the past is I'll harvest the guy's field for free for the corn or for, for the straw and um, so I don't I pay back the uh, the value of the contract because uh, less talking more driving um, yeah I pay back the value of the contract to them because for me depending on where we are the straw is more valuable Buying straw bales is expensive, uh, unless it's a huge contract, which it would be on here. And maybe then, you know, we do a deal with them and, uh, you know, we, they only pay us half the amount and we take the straw. Something like that. Um, yeah. I just had a small heart attack because our money was rocketing down there. But it was young George over there in the Titan refilling with line. This episode is not good for my heart. Um, I've completely lost what I was just... I was going to go look in the contracts um, and see, you know. There are some nice big barley um, oat cow wheat contracts out there um, we've got the kit to plant those and the nice thing is that planting a contract like that there's hopefully going to be a harvest contract uh, we've got the combine and my goal is to buy at least one more of the twin screw combines and run them in at least a pair um, so we can knock out quite a lot of harvesting contracts I think uh, that gives us also the benefit of getting some grain that we can sell or we can feed to the cattle. I've yet to play around with setting up the custom TMR mix that I plan to do. Um, basically, I'm just going to add in the option to add grain into the standard in-game mix. Um, there are a couple of TMR mixes that let you do it already. Um, but the, the, the silo that I plan to use doesn't i think it's a fairly simple edit to be able to do it and i think it's realistic a lot of farms um i get the impression anyway a lot of farms mix other stuff into their total mix ration um and one of the guys i watch in the uk feeds um beets in the winter um in fact a couple of them do tom pemberton i think he feeds potatoes and carrots um, I was watching a guy on a series in the UK called Born Mucky, which is not what you think. It's a farming series. Um, he has a herd of water buffalo, and he's feeding them carrots and parsnips, which is interesting. Um, they have parsnips in game, but um, he's feeding them just that. He's, as an experiment, I don't think he's feeding them any um, forage, which is weird. I think I'm going to actually... Uh, I don't think we need to do more than one headland. That. Okay, we won't take it off the field. Uh, we don't need to do more than one headland down the length of the field. Um, okay, my FPS has just crashed through the floor. Why is the Titan over here? Someone is an idiot. But I have found, because this is a big map, that, and my, the auto drive network I've got is not huge, but I have found that when auto drive is thinking, actually I found it on, uh, on Oakfield as well, when auto drive is thinking, my FPS crashes. And although I play on a laptop, I play on a pretty damn good spec gaming laptop. That shouldn't be a problem for, for doing that. But let's go and find out where he got to. Uh, there we go. 
So he almost managed one head and it wasn't full when I set him off. Let's try again. This 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 episode is is still testing me. It's still testing me. It's very likely that we're going to finish planting corn before George has finished liming this field. And the nice thing about the early rise planter is it's a direct drill, so we can go straight into this stuff. Um, in theory, we might want to get some fertilizer on it first. Um, I wonder if that was probably why the uh, the planter went a bit nuts as well. Ah, the joys of trying to do multiple things at once. Anyway, I've rambled on again a lot, so... Uh, We'll do some sort of montage time lapse -y thing again. Um, probably a montage this time of just getting this corn in the ground. So uh, let's find some music to play and uh, get this stuff planted. Everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time As weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I couldn't get him off my mind Hopefully that montage looked kind of cool. We are about two thirds of the way through planting this field and we're pretty much out of seed. I was at the right point to uh, to run back to the yard and refill. Uh, looks like the Titan, wow that was well timed. The Titan is also refilling with lime. George is now on the second side of the field. Uh, so that's good, we're, uh, we're close to having that limed. I think the video is probably getting quite long at this point. I'm still finding it hard to judge how much video to record. I think that's going to take me a while to get used to. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll refill with seed. I'll take you back over to field six and show you how we're getting on. And then I think my plan is to finish this field off uh, in a bit of a time lapse or maybe a montage or maybe just off camera. Um, before the next episode where we need to fackle fackle fackle's not a word maybe it is a word um, we need to tackle field 12 and hopefully the hay will be dry um, I'm kind of toying actually with doing field 12 as a time lapse video between episodes Maybe instead of the potato planting one, because the whole thing with the white tractor has put me off that a bit, I think. Uh, and I just want to get the crops in the ground so we can progress. Uh, feels like we're going very slowly at the moment. We're on day three of spring. Um, I play on six-day seasons, as some of you will know, and I may have said at the start of the series. But just with doing one video a week at the moment, it doesn't feel like this series is progressing very quickly. So yeah, maybe I'll tackle field 12 as a time lapse. I would ask what people think, but if I'm going to do it, it's likely I will have done it before you see this video. Um, I try and be at least a week ahead on recording. Um, I'm not at the moment and I don't like it. Um, the combination of going on a family holiday and then having a really busy two weeks at work it just meant I couldn't get caught up again on recording and 
to the point that as I'm recording this, I still need to edit tomorrow's video to go live, which is uh, it's an oak oak hill video so i recorded the commentary just before i recorded this so i need to do a sound edit which is not too long but yeah not having tomorrow's video uploaded is not great i'll probably be doing that as soon as i finish doing this um, recording this has taken way longer than i expected to be honest i think it's uh, two plus hours now um which is about what it takes me for a time lapse video um but I do those in stints generally around life, whereas I've pretty much sat and recorded this in one go with all of the issues that I had at the same time. And so you can see we've got a chunk of the field left to go. Um, it's certainly a bigger field than I thought it was. Um, I think I'm underestimating the size of the fields on this map because everything's big. Um, so my plan for field 12 is um, I hook the 9190 up to the Nitro Master and run Anhydrous over it and then stick with the Magnum on the early rise planter. It's been awesome. It's really, really worked well. Um, and get that cotton in the ground. Yeah, I, I keep changing my mind. I am going to do cotton. It's a big enough field, I think, that we can justify renting the kit we need. Um, I don't have the John Deere DLC because I'm not a big fan of cotton. Um, so we have the option of either the base game case cotton baler or we can go the route that a lot of people have been going lately and doing loose cotton um, with the pack that was released a little while ago. Given that that's a way off yet, what do people think? Should we go with the standard case baler, um, or in a, we're we're in a town with a John Deere dealership? Um, maybe we should use the John Deere stuff. Uh, it looks like it's more time-consuming, and I would probably rely a lot on automation with course plate and auto drive to tackle that big field. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling again. This was supposed to be a short, snappy little video, or segment of video, to take us out from uh, what now is probably a good nearly 50 minute video, I'm guessing, by the time I do the edit. Um, so, if you're still here, thank you for making it this far. I'm guessing you're subscribed at this point. If you're not, click that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you get notifications. I do farm some videos every day they're not all like this uh, most of them are time lapses at the moment um, join my discord it's pretty quiet uh, I'm on twitter as well I was on instagram but I'm not a fan of instagram I don't mind twitter uh, but I don't think many people follow me on there so maybe do that too um, leave me a comment let me know if you're enjoying the series or if you've got questions about the stuff that I'm using or the issues that we've had and that kind of thing um, yeah, and I will catch you next time, folks. It's been interesting today. Yep. Yeah. I think that's it from me today. Big man.